All right, too. So, what do you think now? Today is my 5.1 home theater from Philips, which you have seen before. And these are the three channel speakers uh, with them. The rest of the two are mounted on the wall. And uh, as you know, this home theater uh, has a 4 inch subwoofer driver here. Okay, let me open it up. There it is. You can see. Uh, for us over it's a tiny one so what are you gonna do now today we are gonna connect uh, this subwoofer uh, output connection to an external uh, large subwoofer and uh, we're gonna see uh, if this amplifier can take that or no well for that I have a 8 inch uh, driver and uh, first it's just open it and hopefully you can see here well this connection you can see red and black this is the connection for the subwoofer uh, there it is I'm gonna remove this card from this socket and I'm gonna shoulder a new wire uh, for connecting the subwoofer well let's do it all right here it is i have connected a long wire to this subwoofer connection i put here and uh, i've removed this uh, you can see the jack for this internal subwoofer and we're going to connect the 18 subwoofer i'm going to see how it works All right, I have connected this one's uh, subwoofer's output to that 18-inch subwoofer, which has 8 ohms, and uh, the three channels are there, and this is the input, and I'm going to connect it uh, to my mobile, and I'm going to check the sound. this 8 inch subwoofer and uh, which is working pretty good as far as I can hear now I don't know how much uh, my camera is picking up the bass Okay, so uh, this is an 8-inch eight, eight uh, offer and it's uh, working pretty good. And when you connect an external uh, speaker or subwoofer uh, to your 5.1 or 2.1 speaker system, just keep that in mind that you need to uh, check the impedance first. Well, this thing, the subwoofer, it has the 6 ohms of impedance and that one is 8 ohms, so it's safe to use that. But if I use... Uh, below 6 ohms like 4 ohms and that might uh, burn the uh, IC of this at uh, high volume if I keep playing it at high, at high volume for 
a long time uh, then there is a chance to burn the IC there so keep that in mind uh, impedance is very important things uh, to match the speaker with your amplifier so yeah you can connect uh, a external bigger subwoofer to your 5.1 or 2.1 home theater and uh, that's it and now let's check some more music Do I love the touch but never love the feel? 